Today I have the keys to a 2020 Ram 3500 Bighorn Crew Cab. Huge shout out to Benson Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram for providing this massive truck for me today. Definitely check out their website. They have a huge selection of inventory to choose from. This model here is finished off in Delmonico Red. It has an MSRP right around $69,000. Let's start off today's review by going up underneath the hood where you'll find the 6.7 liter inline six Cummins turbo diesel. This is paired to the six speed automatic transmission. It produces 400 horsepower around 2,800 RPM and 1,000 pound feet of torque as low as 1,800 RPM. This is rear wheel drive. It weighs in around 7,900 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 around eight seconds with a top speed just under 100 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 50 gallons. This has a wheelbase of 169 and a half inches. Its overall length is 260.8. It has a width of 79.4 and a height of 78.4 inches. With all those specs out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the exterior, walk around on the 3500. I'm gonna start off with the massive size of this truck. I am five foot 10 and the top of the grill is all the way up to my arm here. I barely had to get on my tippy toes to reach the hood to close it. It's such a massive truck. You can also see Ram spelled out in the center of the grill just to give it a really good presence. You have chrome trim on both sides and a lot of openings in the grill to provide maximum cooling to this engine. So you can tow whatever you want and keep that engine running smoothly. This also has heavy duty engine coolers as well. You'll notice on both sides, this has LED headlights. We have the turn signals just underneath that and you can see the whole lower section of the bumper is finished off in chrome just to add to that theme. There's tow hooks up front along with more of that mesh to provide even more cooling. And then we have a massive hood, really nice lines that flow down it just to give it a really nice look. And then on both sides of the hood, you'll see the 3500 heavy duty badge. And then real quick before I forget, this also has fog lights down in the lower section of the bumper. But as we make our way to the side profile now, You'll see this has 18 inch wheels. They are finished off in chrome. This is a dually, so it has four wheels on that rear axle. You'll see running boards, which will help you get in and out of the vehicle. We have these side mirrors that have the turn signal on them, and then they have these split mirror designs so that way you can see what you're trailering and have two different angles, which is nice to see. I have to walk this far away from the truck so that way you can see the entire truck in frame. It's an absolutely massive truck has really clean lines that run down the side of it, so it has a nice profile to it. And you can see from here just how large the bed is. It has a payload capacity of 7,600 pounds. And then that leads us on to the rear end of the 3500. This has a backup camera in the handle to open up the tailgate. You can see the Ram logo right in the center. This has LED taillights, a chrome bumper with the hitch down below. This has a towing capacity up to about 14,000 pounds. And then this does have the gooseneck option. So you can put that in the bed of the truck and tow up to 35,000 pounds. So this is definitely a work truck. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the interior on the Ram 3500. You'll notice on the door panel, it has a really nice two-tone design. There's leather and gray stitching on the armrest. Really nice chrome trim and a wooden inlay just above that. This has a brushed aluminum release handle with all the window controls, your lock and unlock, and the power mirror adjustments. There's a little bit of storage underneath the grab handle and then plenty of storage at the lower section of the door. This also has a 10 speaker audio sound system. As we make our way inside now, you'll see the really nice cloth seats with more of that same color stitching, really nice pattern running down them. We have the automatic controls on the side. And then moving on to the steering wheel controls, you'll see cruise control on the right side. On the back side of the steering wheel, you can adjust the volume just by using those two buttons. There's also a gear limit as well, so you can control what gear you're in when you're towing. It just makes it a little bit easier. You have your voice commands along with Bluetooth, and then the buttons on the back side will change the radio. So you can easily use those to go through the stations. And then using all of the arrows at the bottom, we can scroll through all of the information in the gauge cluster. So right now you can see the miles per hour, we can go to vehicle information and you can see your TPMS along with some other vital information that you can scroll through. You have your exhaust brake, oil life, and things like that. We can scroll down to fuel economy. You can look at your trip information along with your trailer tow. You can also look at audio, messages. You have your screen set up so you can adjust what you'd like to see in each part of the screen. And then you have some custom settings as well. And then on the left side, you can see the tack along with some temperature gauges. Same on the right side along with the fuel gauge and the speedometer. Looking at the left side of the steering wheel, you have all the headlight and fog light controls. There's one air vent with some nice trim pieces surrounding that. You can see the two-tone design running throughout the dash along with one speaker for the Alpine system. There's a little bit of storage space up in the top along with a 12 volt and RAM is spelled out. 
And then right in the center, we have the 8.4 inch screen. This is very easy to go through. You can see the presets at the bottom and you can change those if you'd like to. But right now they're set up with the radio. You have media and phone. We can go into the apps. So you can look at your backup camera. There's also a cargo camera. You can go into controls and you can monitor both cameras. You can look at your mirror dimmer and also lower the bed. So this has an adaptive suspension that just makes it a little bit easier to load items and unload items. And then that is pretty much it. You have a lot of information to go through. Moving below that, you can see your volume and tuning for the radio. You can shut this screen off if you'd like to. Just tap anywhere on the screen and it will turn back on. There's a mute button, your hazards, and traction control. And then right in the center, we have three knobs for the climate controls. You have fan speed on the left side, temperature is in the center, and then where you'd like the air to go is on the right side. Very simple and straightforward. To the left side, you'll see all of your controls for four-wheel drive. So you have four high and four low. And then right in the center, we have a trailer braking system along with a bunch of auxiliaries. So you can easily hook up lights or whatever you need. You have buttons that you can actually hook them into, which is really nice to see. There's two USBs and two USC ports just underneath that. And then you have a ton of space in the center. There's a three prong outlet down at the bottom. You have a little shelf here if you wanna place any items and a lot of room. You can also slide the cup holders forward. So you have two cup holders, a nice storage area with some coin slots. And then looking at the massive armrest, you have a ton of room for anything that needs to go down there. There's also a maximum fill line that tells you where to go. So if you wanna slide this forwards and backwards, you don't crush any of your items in there. And then on the back side of this, we have a tables chart for any conversions that you need to do. This is a work truck, so it's nice to have something like that. And then looking over at the glove box, there's actually two. We have an upper glove box with a good amount of room, and then your regular lower glove box for anything that you need to place there. We'll go ahead and take one last look at these seats. And then up top, you do have your dome lights along with a sunglass holder up top. In the back seats of the 3500 now, I am five foot 10. I actually have the front seat a little bit farther back than how I would normally sit. And I have plenty of leg room. You have a small pocket in both front seats just to give you a little bit more storage. And I have a couple inches above my head. So it's actually very comfortable in the back seats. And you could even sit in this middle seat here if you'd like to. Right in the center, we have four cup holders. We have two up top, two down on the floor. You have your air vents and a little bit of storage space. And then right in the center, we have an armrest along with two more cup holders. So you have six for the back seat passengers. And then my favorite part is up underneath the seat. So if I just fold the bottom here all the way up, I can actually take the bottom of the floor and fold it out. There's a little leg here that you can easily bring out just like you're setting up a table. And now you have a flat surface so you can put anything across that you'd like to. This gives you some more dry storage space if you need to use it, which is awesome to see. And to finish this up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the bed. First up, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tailgate, and then you'll see that this has a full bed liner to give you maximum protection. You can see all of the places for the gooseneck trailer to attach to. There's also a power outlet on the left side and cleats and tie down hooks in all four corners. So that way you can get your items nice and secure. You can see just how massive this bed is as well. I am five foot 10 and even with my arms up, this is roughly an eight foot bed. So you have a ton of storage space and the tailgate is also very lightweight. So we can go ahead and easily close it up. All right, so hopping up into the 3500. This is the first time that I've actually been behind the wheel of a dually and this is a massive truck. Just driving it around the parking lot here, going from my midsize truck to this full size dually. It's actually taken a little bit of time to get used to it. It's such a large vehicle, but at the same time, once you start driving this, I mean, that, that's a pretty good turning radius for the size of it. Uh, but once you start driving it, obviously you'd get more comfortable with it. It's just, it's such a massive truck. I need to go ahead and adjust these mirrors just a little bit. And I really like how you have that split design. It gives you a lot more visibility uh, especially when you have this other mirror adjusted for your basically your normal driving setting I guess you could say and then you have those outer mirrors to help you with towing when you have any kind of trailer on the back And that's basically what this truck is designed to do with a towing capacity up to 35,000 pounds I mean, there's really not much that you couldn't tow using this truck so this is a full-on work truck that you're going to be using and you're going to be towing with it but at the same time you have a lot of luxuries for a work truck like this it's actually really nice 
on the inside. You have this screen with all of your buttons, very easy to use. And then all of these auxiliary buttons, as I showed earlier, it's pretty cool. So you can hook up whatever you need. I'm not sure what many work trucks would need, maybe some air compressors or something like that. You could easily be able to flip these switches and turn any of those components on which is pretty awesome. And you have a lot of space. As this is a big truck from the outside, it's also a massive truck from the inside. I could have four other people in here with me and you have plenty of room. There's a lot of storage space, a lot of versatility with the back seats as I showed. And while this is a big heavy duty work truck, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of gas without a trailer. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> For an 8,000 pound vehicle, that just doesn't seem like that should happen. But at the same time, it has a 1,000 pound feet of torque at a very, very low RPM. So even just cruising here, giving it a little bit of gas. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's almost unreal. The power to weight ratio, I guess I could say, for how heavy this truck is, it moves. So I'm sure towing a really heavy trailer you probably won't have any issues with being able to get up to the speed limit and merging into traffic. That was very impressive. But now talking about what it's like to drive this truck, I haven't been on the smoothest roads right now, but it's actually driving really nicely. I've ne again, I've never been in a dually before, so this is a first time for me. And having four wheels in the back, honestly, it doesn't really seem any different, not that it really would, but going over some of these bumps, it's absorbing them really well. So I have no complaints with that. And then talking about the seating position here, you feel like you're very high up in this truck. The windshield is pretty far away at the base at least, so I can still see the bottom of the hood there, but I feel like I'm upright. I can almost see the entire hood here and you just have a really nice driving position. But let's go ahead and do a three point turn here and see how well we can do this. It's actually, it's not that bad. We got our backup camera here to help us out. And you can maneuver this truck really well once you get used to it, as I've already mentioned. That just, it didn't seem like anything out of the ordinary for being such a large truck. And then you wanna get right back up to the speed limit, man. But now talking about the overall visibility, it's very easy to see in all directions. That glass in the back, not only is it large, but it's pretty much right there. I mean, you can easily see it over my left shoulder. I can look out of that glass. So you virtually have no blind spots. And I say that lightly because yes, it's a large truck, but even with these side, uh, side mirrors here, I can see the corners of the truck. So you really can see all around this entire vehicle. You can go to your backup camera, easily look at that. You can see your cargo and that actually kind of helps. Hopefully that camera can see. You can see the sides of the bed too. So if there's any items kind of around the bed, you could actually use that cargo camera and get a little bit more visibility. So while it's a big truck, it's maneuverable, it's easy to drive at the same time. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the 2020 Ram 3500 Bighorn Crew Cab. Once again, massive shout out to Benson Chrysler, Jeep Dodge and Ram for providing this massive work truck for me today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our daily uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video.